Today is May 23rd. It is extremely late at night, 3.20 a.m. I hope all of you guys are staying safe during this quarantine and that you continue to stay safe even after quarantine. Um, I'm here with a very special video that I want to do. I want to talk about something uh, in Dungeons & Dragons, well, in role-playing games in general, that um, aren't really covered. And I want to make a tier list here. A, a tier list of equipment. Now, for a lot of new players, um, they think they might be able to get by with um, some rations, a sword, a shield, and some armor. And I'm about to tell you, that's just not going to fly. You're going to do much better than that. You're going to have gear that will get you through the game. And especially at very low levels, if we're talking about Dungeons and & Dragons, and this goes this goes from OD&D to 5th edition. It goes all the way from the beginning to the end. The early levels, you're going to be very um, needy. And equipment's going to get you by. Um, equipment is going to get you by. So, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, see, I've got a list... I've got a list and um, on my desktop that I'm not showing right here. Um, it's just a list of items that I've typed up. And uh, so just for me to reference it here. And I'm going to go through my list and I'm going to draw them here and put them, put them in, uh, in the place uh, they belong. We're just going to go ahead and get one straight up out of the way. All right. Well, I'm going to say two. Not just one, but two. And and we'll segue even two. So let's start immediately on the S tier. Alright? Immediately on the S tier. You cannot live. You cannot live without this. Alright? That's right. Pull a little, pull a little uh, pineapple. Let's get a little... Oh wait, oh heck. Oh heck, hold on. Hold on. I didn't plan ahead for this, but let's draw this on a new layer. Let's draw this on a new layer. Oh wait, I can erase some things. You cannot... You cannot live without this. That's right. Ham. Number one item in the game. Now, I, I don't specifically... I don't specifically, let's put a little pineapple on it. A little pineapple glazed ham there. But, so food. Food. You can't, you can't. Like, if you're going on an adventure, you have to bring it with you. Um, man, I really, I really think, okay. The reason this is S tier, and... The amount of food that you need to carry will vary. It will differ based off whether or not you have uh, create food and water, which brings us to the other. Um, I'm going to draw it here. You've got your. Let's see, it's kind of stitched up there. There's a little leather pouch there. You've got your water, all right? Regardless of class, you need to be carrying at least one of uh, or one of each of these. You need one day of food and you need uh, one day of water, just straight up. All right, I don't care. I don't care if you have create food and drink. I don't care that you have create water at will. I don't care. You carry one of these. If something happens, this is important. This is your life. Humans require these two things. Um... Air is very important, you know, food, water, air. Um, so these three things you need to keep um, in check. You know, you can't pack air. So, so I'm going to write a little draw to the side right here, all right? I'm going to put it in blue, all right? This little... All right? If you can help it, just get yourself some endless air. It's a magic, the magic item. 
It's a magic item. So I mean, in all in all realness, you you're not gonna get endless air. All right, you're just not. That's that's not not a viable option that you're gonna get. So. I'm really going to mostly talk about, you know, first early level equipment. So don't worry about the endless air. That was just a joke. All right, so food and water. You need at least one day of each of these. Um, you, For me, I've always found that a week is good, you know. Um, but obviously, you plan accordingly based off the trip. If you're, if you're traveling for months, you pack months of food. Um, this will require other things, you know, like wagons to carry such stuff. And, and don't pack stuff that spoils. Don't pack a ham. Like, realistically, like, don't pack a ham. Um, maybe for the first few days, but, um, well, no, if, if the ham is dried and cured properly, it'll keep. It'll keep. Make sure you pack um, pack things that are um, good for the trail. That's, um, that's dried fruit. That's pickled vegetables. That is pickled eggs. Anything pickled, really. Anything dried, really. Um, that's, that's dry goods like flour rice, um, etc. So, so these things, these things are extremely important. You have to have these things. Um, the other thing I'm going to put, and I'm going to go ahead and put it A tier, okay? I'm going to put it A tier. And that, that is... Get a little hilt here. That's right. Yeah, let's make it a little. Uh, for whatever reason, it's serrated on one end. Um, could be a hunter's knife. Go for a hunter's knife, though. But um, this is your dagger. Okay. Um, you can use it to pry things open. Um, you're going to use it to uh, eat with your food. Um, this is a self-defense item. Um, this is a throwawayable item. Um, it carries some amount of metal on it. Uh, it it's an all-around multi-purpose tool. Um, see, I have the serrated edges there. Um, get yourself a nice knife. You know, something that's going to carry you through the rest of the game. If you can ask for a masterwork dagger, and if you can afford it, like, do it. I know in some cases it's a big leap because, you know, say for example a dagger costs a gold and a masterwork dagger costs 300 and one gold. I mean, I don't go out of your way for that. Like, don't go for, like, the 3,000 times cost. Just, if you can get yourself a nice dagger, it's always good to have a nice dagger. Um... And if you're using your dagger a lot, get two. One for food and one for work. Because, you, you know, you don't want to eat off a filthy dagger. You know, especially a dagger that you're plunging into enemies. Like, you're not going to want to eat off that and get diseases. No, you're not going to want that. But a dagger is a multi-faceted, talented tool. And it, you can't really live without it. The reason why it's not S-tier is because in a desperate situation... In a very desperate situation, you can use a rock. Um, you can sharpen a rock and just use a rock for some of the things that the um, dagger can do. And the dagger can't do everything, and some tools overlap with the dagger. So I'm kind of reserving the S tier for like uh, things that you have to have regardless. Um, going back to um, my S tier here, I didn't really talk about water so much. And we will talk about the water. Um, you know, dag dagger is useful for food. So we need to talk about what's useful for water. And what I've drawn right there is, is not really just, oh, hey, pack some water. Um, yeah, you can pack water in a barrel. You can pack it in a jug. Um, but get yourself a nice thermos or a uh, water skin. You know, something, something that can hold all that uh, canteen. Any of those items. Um you're gonna you're gonna want um, if you can get an endless water uh, can great great you know I'm not gonna draw magic items like I did the endless air um, but if you can get uh, endless water that's great if you can create water that's cool but like I said you gotta pack at least a day of your own just regular water um, 
and you need something to pack it with. So get yourself a good uh, water skin. And you know what? Because they can be damaged, it's not bad to have two. Even if you just leave the other one empty, they don't weigh much, they don't take up much inventory space, it's good to have a second one. And you know what? The, you know what's good about the second one? You actually want to know what's really good about the second one? The second one can hold your wine. That's right. You can pack some wine. I'm going to go check and see if I'm still recording here. And I haven't really used this software. All right, I'm still recording. All right. <laughs> Bear with me here. This is not professional by any means, but I definitely want to want to talk about these things. So food, water, your dagger, um, something to hold the, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just write it, water skin, um, water slash wine skin. Yeah, it's called a wine skin. Same, same ordeal. Okie dokie. So I'm going to go through some stuff. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put it in the S tier anyways even though that this isn't always the case but the the concept of it is very very important and that and that my friends is the backpack yeah my weird ass my weird drawing here Okay, because you're going to be carrying equipment, you need something to hold the equipment. All right? So it's got to be a bag of some sort. Um, obviously, the bag pack gets, you know, with magic items, having a magic bag is good. Having a bag of holding is better. Um, but to be honest, a bag of holding isn't necessary. And you really honestly don't want anything too flashy because those things get stolen. Um... And if they steal your bag, they steal everything. So you got to be careful about that kind of stuff. Um, a Ludman's secret chest, or, or if any game uses a secret chest or whatever, that's an even better solution. Um, definitely, definitely stuff like that. Anything extra dimensional that people can't find. And that ghost can't fuck up. You don't want ghosts messing with your stuff. But backpack is definitely, because it carries all your stuff, it's it's definitely S tier. And it doesn't have to be a backpack. It could be a rucksack. It can be a briefcase. It can be a carpet bag. Uh, you know, whatever you use. But make it convenient. A backpack is convenient. And get a nice backpack. Everything in the S tier and the A tier, I want you to make sure you get a nice version of. Um, and, and make it up a point to tell the DM, you know, if I'm shopping for this, I'm getting something nice. You want something nice. You don't want you don't want your backpack to rip. Oh God! Just imagine your backpack rips, all your stuff falls out. You've got your rations. You've got you've got your wine. You've got your daggers. All that stuff falls out. You don't want you don't want that. You don't want that. The backpack is S tier. Make sure it's nice. Make sure it is nice. All right. So we're gonna talk. I'm just going to go down through my list. Um, so you've got your barrels, your baskets, and your buckets. All right? All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in C tier. All right? All right, your bucket, uh, your buckets, your baskets, and your barrels. Um, any of your carrying things. These these are nice to have. Um, these are nice to have. Um, when it comes to large carrying of things, um, the 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 hand bucket itself is nice for carrying gold straight up straight up carrying gold um it's good for carrying water um if you're getting it out of a lake things like that a bucket has a lot of uses um same with the basket but the problem with the basket is the basket can't that's true that is true all right 
All right. Bear, bear with me here. All right. All right. You got your basket. It's D tier. It's good for carrying gold and items. It don't hold liquids. That's ultimately its problem. So the bucket's already better than the basket. Like the bucket is that much better. Um, the reason why I want to include barrels into buckets is because barrel is just the big boy form. If you're a strong guy, then you're going to be using a barrel. If you're a weak guy, you're going to be using a bucket. Um, barrels are good for, for keeping things, especially stored and nice and dry and safe and whatnot. So the barrels kind of have like an advantage in that sort of sense, but they're not convenient like the bucket. Um, anything in the C tier... Anything in the C tier, you're probably going to have one guy. In a part, in a standard party of four, you might have one guy have one of these. So if somebody if somebody has a bucket uh, in the group, you're good to go. Um, it's not terribly necessary because a baskets are actually very easy made um, from wilderness material. Um, if your character has any amount of survival, and if you're a DM. You should honestly allow them to forge themselves a basket, especially if they have talents in uh, farming or any of those type of professions. I, I mean, I know that basket weaving isn't necessarily a very common skill, but you have to remember in the Middle Ages it definitely was more so. More people were able to um, more people were able to make baskets because it was a more commonly used skill, especially um, amongst the lower class. So baskets. Baskets are easy made, and I don't want to upgrade them because obviously buckets are just that much better, and basket weaving still takes a stupid time. Um, but at least that's still doable. But having a bucket amongst the group, it's not a bad idea. And one of the things, one of the things too, with a bucket, uh, if you, if you got a poop on the go, real talk here. If you got a poop on the go, bucket your bet. The bucket is your bet. Yeah. Well, wash it out real good, though. Alright. So we've got the bell. Alright. Now, this is a double whammy, and I'm going, to, I'm going to teach you how to securely carry a bell with you. See, the bell, the bell I'm going to go ahead, the bell I'm going to go ahead and put in the B tier. That's right. What's so, what's so grand about the bell, Dale? All right. Now we're talking about a handheld bell. All right. We are talking about the handheld bell. Um, something you can jingle in your hands. I usually, no, it would have a, it would have a little handle. You know, it would have a handle attached. Uh, it doesn't have to, but make sure that it has um, like a loop or, or a handle or something that thread can tie to. Um, you're definitely going to want that. So here's, here's the deal with the bell. The bell is a quiet ringing device. Those people that are actively listening for it can use it as a signal. Um, this is good for ambushes um, and things where you need a quiet yet strange little audible cue. Um, in town square, people aren't going to think too much of it. Um, in a busy town street, the bell isn't going to really register as anything bad. People might stare. But you're using it as a signal. Um, so it can be something like, hey, I'm watching down the street for guards. And you can ring the bell if guards appear. You know, ring it behind your back. You know, make sure nobody sees it. Even if the guards question you about the stupid bell or whatever. You know, if you get a nice decorative bell, you can be like, I'm blessing the people. I'm blessing myself. I'm praying to blah, blah, blah. Uh, bells are used in religious crap all the time. So, so bells can be used as a signal. 
um, amongst your allies. Very good thing to do. Another thing that bells can be do is set up as an alarm. Um, actually, a lot of the alarm spells require a bell anyway, so you're going to have one of these regardless. Um, the bell spell can be used as an alarm. Uh, you can hang it up by a string or twine or thread or whatever. Um, hang it up, attach it to doorknobs um, and the like. Uh, it can help wake you up. Um, it's loud enough to do that. The bell has one blatant downside, and that is that the bell is a jingle jangly thing. But you want to know what else it is also your money. So if you're playing them thievy types, you're probably thinking, "Well, no, I shouldn't have a bell." Well, yes and no. I'm gonna about to. I'm, I'm about to teach you. I'm about to teach you the importance of another really amazing item. All right. This is, this is another B tier item. All right another B tier item. Okay? I'm just kidding, it's not B tier, it's probably just it's probably literally just C tier. Alright. You got your you got your little bag here, it's tied. That's right. Your bag of sand. Your bag of sand. You don't need to put too much in it. Um, if you're a rogue type, highly recommend a bag of sand. There's so many fun uses for a bag of sand. So the bell, all right, the bell, I'm gonna go ahead, put a new layer. I'm gonna do a new layer. All right, the bell, right into the bag of sand. You have quieted it. You got enough sand in there. That belling jingle jangling. Sand really doesn't make too much of a noise, except for when it's dropped. Um, the sand, especially if you make it look like a coin purse, can act as a as a fake coin purse. Um, a bag of sand can be used as a weight. Um, a bag of sand can be used to trigger traps, especially if they're trigger hair and the like. Um, that they're throwable, they're wasteable, they're extremely easy to obtain. Um, and if you have to have the other bag, you've got the other bag, you can just empty all the sand out. Bada bing, bada boom, you got a bag if you need it. Uh, sand is a completely disposable item, you can get that just about freaking anywhere. Um, except for when you can't, because you're stuck in a place that's far away from sand. <laughs> but, but no, there's a fair amount of good uses for sand. Um, sand is a blinding agent, so you can, I mean, the, the Dale Gribble pocket sand technique, it's a real technique. Don't have you ever ever had someone throw sand in your eyes? You know, I was a kid. I was at the beach. My brother and my, you know, he he did it. I got sand in my eye. I know how that feels like. It's aggravating. It's agitating, and that's a minus penalty. Their eyes are gonna start watering. They ain't gonna fight. They're not gonna do a good job fighting. I'm gonna check. I'm still recording. I'm not trusting my software. <laughs> it's 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 open source software, so I'm just kind of. Oh, the art program that I'm using is Fire Alpaca. I highly recommend it. It's light, lightweight. It's uh, designed for um, manga, and it's free. Um, you should support Fire Alpaca. I use it for all my drawing. I really like it. Uh, it's it, it's basic, and you know it does what I need to do. So sand, C tier. Uh, put the bell in sand. That's what makes the bell so great. Like literally, you have to have that combo. Otherwise, the bell is just C tier. It's just C tier without the bag of sand, but with the bag of sand, it will. It, uh, I guess you technically could roll the bell up with cotton, or even in a blanket or something of the like, um, and that will also work. But the utility of the sand itself um, is what makes it nice. All right. I'm going to talk about another A tier item. Okay, this this is going to be one of your heavy items, but it, but it's A tier. You have to have this. All right. I mean, you don't have to, but you do. All right. Yep. Still recording? Yep, still recording. All right. Extra clothes. 
Yeah. Oh my goodness, do players forget this one the most. How many pairs of clothes do you have in real life? How many pairs of clothes do you pack on a trip? How many of your clothes get nasty and dirty and filthy and, you know, you sweat on it and they, well, what if they get torn up or burned or singed or you're in combat and you get stabbed? Like, don't tell me you're not bringing extra clothes. All right? Going back to my other layer here. You need to pack, you need to pack four extra clothes. You need to have five days of clothes. And one of those sets of clothes needs to be nice. Something nice to wear. Alright? You're going to probably think that's really excessive, but, it, but ultimately it's not. Really it's not. And I'm not talking about anything heavy. I'm not saying that you need to pack four cloaks or four coats or four wool hats. I'm not saying that. Just the basic tunic and pants, you need to have five days of that. So that's four, ex four pairs of extra clothes plus yours. And that might take an okay chunk of money, but it's very important. You know. Especially for characters that keep themselves well. Like, this is definitely something you need to do. Um, and, and I know it's one of those things, well, during the time people weren't so hygienic. That's definitely not true. Um, people did change their clothes. People owned wardrobes of clothes. And they may have not have had as many clothes as we have today. And they may have taken care of their clothes a, a little more. And did a lot more sewing and repairing of clothes. You cannot tell me that in the Middle Ages people didn't have at least five days of clothes in their in their hut. You know. Um, and you're going to have those clothes laundered. Okay. Or you're going to at least basically wash them yourself. Or if you got a wizard in the party, you're going to use prestidigitation. You're going to get those clothes clean. You know. Prestidigitation. Great spell. This isn't a tier list for, for spells, though, unfortunately. Alright? So, extra clothes. Y you need that. You need that. And and they don't they don't all have to be good clothes. You can go cheap on the clothes. No, no. Just make sure you... Make sure you have it. Alright? Okay. Alright. So, we're going to talk about cow traps. And I want to kind of get into this... Um, caltrops are an E item. Okay? Oh yeah. They're an E item. And in the F item, All right, ball bearings and caltrops. All right, first off, ball bearings never existed in medieval times. Ball bearings are a modern invention. There was really no way that they were able to make smooth ball bearings in the Renaissance, let alone in the American Revolution era, the 1700s, the Enlightenment period. They weren't even really making them then. The fifth edition decided that cow traps were these nasty items and they were going to replace them with ball bearings because, well, we can make them slip and fall down instead of stabbing them in the foot. Let me tell you about cow traps. Cow traps, very pointy iron bits. They're kind of a hassle to carry because they're spiky and they're pointy. you got to have a bag for it. Um, they have a use, especially if you're being chased by horseback. It'll buy you some time. Alright? But, 
if if they fail, they fail and they're wasted. Kind of heavy. Um, they spread in a decent amount of range, but it's a lot of little iron bits that you just kind of toss to the wind. Um, I have never successfully used cow traps, not once in D and D. I have never successfully used cow traps. And I'm not saying that there isn't a point to cow traps because they are. There is. It's not an F tier item. Cow traps are not an F tier item because there is a use for cow traps, and that is for making escapes or setting up ambushes. Um, but a you can't really hide cow traps per se. I guess you could. I guess since you know what, you know what. Since you, since I'm talking about this more, you can set it up for an ambush and a getaway. It's a D. It at least has two uses. It's for ambush and getaway. Caltrops goes there. Um, you can put them on stairs and 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 screw narrow passageways. Um, but they are big and they're bulky and they're annoying to carry. And honestly, I wouldn't worry too much about it if. If your character has a plan set up for some, um, they're not that hard to get. Uh, pretty much, you can just ask your local blacksmith to make you so, make you a jacks set, a metal jack set, and there you go. It's cow traps. Plain and simple. Ball bearings, ball freaking bearings, my friend. Ball bearings. No. All right. They thematically make no sense. Cow traps are just better in every way. But, 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 okay. Here's here's a little but. All right. Marbles. You want to know why marbles are E tier and not F tier, like ball bearings? Because at least you can play a game with marbles. You can keep yourself entertained. Kids love marbles. They're collectible. They're fun. They come in different colors. Ball bearings come in metal. They're heavy. Marbles. Marbles made of glass. Easier to obtain. People can people can smooth glass. Um, it's not ball bearings, man. Uh, I just have so much gripes with ball bearings. It's just the silliest, stupid thing. Well, who mages can make them? What kind of mage? What mages out there are making ball bearings? Who are these mages? Why are they? Why are they bored? Why are they bored? Okay. All right. Another another D tier item. Actually, no. C tier item. C tier item. Right. Scroll case. Whoever's carrying the scrolls is going to carry it. All right. Why is it C tier? Um, first off, it's a round cylindrical case, so you can store stuff with it. Um, if you have to, you can use it as an arrow um, quiver. But very, very much importantly, it stores very expensive spells. Scrolls are expensive. Any D and D or any of these games, they're expensive. They're extra. They're extra spells per day. Um, scroll case. Whoever is carrying the scrolls, probably the mage, maybe the cleric. If you're carrying scrolls, you're going to have a scroll case. That's final. That's not even up for debate because you need to be protecting the expensive things you have. Um, it seals up. It's airtight. You don't let moisture in there. It's a really good item. There's just get a scroll case. Um, get a scroll case. All right. B tier item. Yeah, this one is a no. No, 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 no. I changed my mind. Changed my mind entirely. It's an A. It's an A tier item. Okay. 
That's right. Chalk. Yep. Chalk is an A-tier item. You can write it on just about any hard surface. It draws about anywhere. Um, if you're getting lost in a dungeon, you can use it for markers. But it also helps bridge that communication barrier. Uh, especially with creatures that you don't have language with. Um, chalk can save your life. But the reason why it ultimately is A tier... Oh, and let me tell you a little something about the about chalk also. Chalk can be used in the case of acid reflex, um, acid in the stomach, indigestion. You can eat the chalk. I mean, you can. It's not going to taste good. But effectively, Tums is just flavored chalk. So the chalk is edible, and it's okay for a stomach ache if, if you end up having one. Um, I recommend, you know, carry a set of chalk, what, like eight pieces, whatever. Whatever comes in a little small Crayola box, uh, that's what you need to be carrying. Um, but, but really, to be honest, don't get yourself tiny pieces like that. Get the big pieces. Get the nice, big, hearty pieces, you know, that just won't break. Uh, you might need a dagger to cut. Um, th those big pieces of chalk, those big meaty pieces of chalk. Um, but going on, the reason why it's A tier is because one of those, one of those nice big meaty pieces of chalk weighs hardly anything. And it's storable very easily, as long as you don't get it wet. Um, because it's just so light, you might as well all have one. Um, the alternative to the chalk, all right? The alternative to the chalk is the charcoal. What's wrong with you? Charcoal. Alright. Charcoal is the alternative. That's your black. Um, the thing that's nice about charcoal is that charcoal is very easily attainable. Very easily obtainable. You can obtain charcoal. Um, charcoal writes on paper better than chalk. Um, but chalk, chalk shows up, you know, white chalk shows up very easily. Um, chalk comes in colors, you know, based off dyes. So you can have colored chalk, which is, which is cool um, in some cases. Um, charcoal also can come in colors. Um, I think that's more of a late period thing, so you're not really going to find it so much per se. Um, in a renaissance based game, but um, charcoal is the alternative and it's also effective, very easily attainable. And I like chalk a little better than charcoal if you can help it. Um, if you're more of the academic or the drawing or the artsy type of character, you're going to have charcoal. Um, if you're more the more practical character, you're going to have chalk. That's just probably how it's going to be. And so, so both are fine. Like, everyone should pack at least one. Okay. Um, a chalkboard. I'm not going to put it on this list, but a chalkboard is fine to have uh, just so you have that surface. Only one person really needs to carry it in the party, though. Um, the chalkboards are pretty light themselves, but also not necessary. Not really necessary. It's not that hard to get a flat surface to chalk upon, but on the, if you want to make it nice and neat and you're that type of person, chalkboard it is. Okay? Cool beans. Oh, also, scroll case, just to also mention, your maps are stored in there too, and any other important documents can be stored in there. So, you're going to encounter important documents, letters, charters, um, deeds, and the like. Um, the scroll case is definitely important. Um, that's why it is the C tier. Only one person needs to have it, though. But any of your important documents are going are going in that scroll case. So very, very, very important. Um, speaking of charcoal and the like, however, all right.
Yep. Firewood. Fire is very important. Cannot stress this enough. Now you don't you don't need to carry massive cords of firewood. In fact, I would go so far as to say if you split two cords of firewood up amongst a party party of four, then you're fine. You're good to go. And even then that's not that might be a little excessive in some cases, depending you want to pack based off the situation. Firewood is, in, is important because it needs to be dried ahead of time. Um, so I'm not just talking about, you know, you're forging out for, for wood to be burnt. No, the firewood is a um, is dried wood. It, it's ready wood to be burnt in a fire. It will create charcoal, which is a useful item. Um, and, you know, it, it just, just make it you know, spread it out, make tiny fires, you know, it's good for cooking, uh, boiling your water, firewood's good to have. Um, if you have a cart or a wagon or that like, definitely pack a chest full of firewood when you get to that point. But if, you, but if you're just roughing it and you don't need to travel far, um, you, can, you can get by with using regular wood. It just sucks. It just really sucks. Save yourself the time and the convenience and get yourself some real firewood. It's going to make it that much easier. I, I'm telling you, it's going to make it that much easier to have. Firewood is extremely cheap to buy, but even cheaper to make. So, I mean, if you're a lazy boy, you can go and buy some firewood from your general store or from your neighbor or whatever. Um, um, I'm checking on my list here. I have flask. Um, that goes back to the original water skin, wine skin ordeal. Um, the flask is nice and concealable. I'm not going to put it on here because it's just another container for liquids. Um, it's concealable. You can hide some alcohol, so I ain't super worried. Um, flask is just a nice container. Um, a flask is very good for putting some high-grade alcohol, and high-grade alcohol is a good disinfectant. And, um, yeah, it's just nice to have, and it's good anesthetic too, so you might as well, if, if you're going to have a flask, just put it with some high grain alcohol in there, something really strong, um, and you know, you have it in a container that won't really break, so, okie dokie, ah, the chain, the chain, It's a heavy rope. It's a heavy rope. Um, there are uses for the chain, but any of the uses for the chains are pretty much for out of adventure uses. There's no reason for you to have a chain in an adventure. Um, it's just too heavy, it's too bulky, and to be honest, one good pick strike with a hammer and pitten or with a pick or um, even with just enough force on a link is going to break the chain anyways so at that point you might as well just have a really strong rope might as well just have a silk rope um, I, I can't rate it any higher than E and that's not to say that the chain is bad because it's not bad and I'm glad that it's put in adventure item lists because the chain is useful um, but it's mostly used for out of combat ordeals um, so that that's my viewpoint on the chains okay so we have the flask Feathers. Feathers. Um, feathers are are nice. Um, 
gonna go ahead and put it in the B tier. Um, collect these bad boys. Not off any dead birds though. You don't want any diseases. But any just random ones you find in the wild. Feathers are nice. They can be used for fletching. They can be used for um, uh, quill and ink. They can be uh, used as decoration. Um, if they're pretty, they can be used for trade. Uh, you know, you can stick them in your hat. Um, feathers serve a fair amount of uses. If you collect enough of them, you can stuff a pillow. Um, feathers is just one of those things like if your character is bored, you might as well collect a few. Um, and, and just kind of tell your DM, like, I'm collecting feathers on my way. Um, just the use of them. Um, there's so much use to feathers in the Middle, middle Ages. The, they're, the reason, ultimately, why they're beat tier is just because... The feathers themselves are extremely lightweight. They're practically weightless. They are practically weightless. Feathers are very dirt cheap to buy, but they're incredibly interesting to obtain. And there's a fair amount of spells that actually require feathers too. So. Oh, I mean, you can you can toss feathers to sense wind. Feathers are nice to have. And they're nice to wear, and they're stylish as they're stylish as heck. Feathers are B tier. I know they're not on any equipment list. I have never seen it on any equipment list, but I'll tell you, feathers are nice. And this goes for feathers. Uh, this goes for feather quills, and this goes. Well, I mean, the quills also come with the pen nib. So really, you're going to be carrying the pen nib. Um, so we'll get to that when we get to that. I'm going to do a few more here before I take a break. Uh, by break, I mean I'm going to go get myself a bottle of water. And um, I'm going to go ahead and end the video. No, you know what? I'm going to end the video now. I'm going to split it up into part one, part two. Because I just want to test to see how this video went before I immediately start on number two. Because um, I want to get a bottle of water and I'm getting a little dry in the mouth. But I'm really enjoying this thus far. So um, just hang tight. See you see in a bit.